All right, so I'm gonna give a quick update on my rotary phone project. I've made a few videos about this before, but I've gotten a little farther along in the project, so I think it's time for an update. Um, for those unfamiliar with what I'm doing here, I have this old rotary phone about on eBay. My goal is to get it to the point where I can make calls in the cell network. Um, and I've got all this stuff that I built over here, a whole bunch of circuits. So I'm gonna review what this all does really quick. I've got this board over here, which has a transformer network and some amplifiers. That handles the analog side of things. That does the transmit and receive voice signals. And the and by the way, that transformer network is actually very similar to how uh, voice signals were handled at the central office back in the day. So that's part of what motivated me to do that. Um, so it's got this stuff that handles the analog signals. It's got these transformers right here and a signal generator, which basically creates the voltage to ring the bell on the phone. And when it also, I also have this circuitry here that counts dial pulses. This is um, <clears throat> a little more complicated than it probably needs to be. Uh, when I was first experimenting with this, I basically made an all uh, logic gate circuit that counts the dial pulses. And so that's why I've got all those wires here. But I've actually integrated all this stuff into an Arduino here that now detects all the inputs from that circuit. So I have an Arduino Micro, and that is hooked up to my laptop. So I've got the Arduino environment open on the laptop, and so basically I've written some code that basically reads all the inputs from all the circuitry. So it detects when I pick up the phone, when I hang up the phone, when I dial a number, and I can also send signals from the laptop to the Arduino to ring the bell on the phone. And so I'll demonstrate some of that stuff really quick. So first I'm just gonna pick up the phone and hang up the phone. And so pick it up, hang it up. And it shows in the Arduino environment that I picked up and hung up the phone. So it detected that. So now I'm gonna dial just a few numbers really quick. I'll just dial a zero, one, two, and three. So actually for that to show up, because, I don't know, my phone just doesn't work very well with this. I have to dim the lights, otherwise the digits just don't show up very well. So I'm dimming the lights. Okay, so now I'll dial 0, 1, 2, 3. 0, so I'm just dialing it like I would a rotary phone. 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, 3. So you get the idea, right? And that also displays up here. So the Arduino detects all that. And so when I hang up the phone, it's going to clear these numbers. So I'll do that really quick. And it also shows up on the display. So it detected all that. So now, let me turn the lights back up again. Actually, you know what? I'm going to wait to turn the lights back up because there's one more thing i got to show you on the number display here. So if I send a command through the Arduino, what it's going to do is it's going to ring the bell on the phone, and it's also going to display some numbers here, kind of like a caller ID function, right? So actually, it's going to display the numbers here first, then ring the bell. And so it's just going to display 0 through 9. And I'll do that really quick. So I'm going to send the command through my laptop, and you'll see these numbers flash 0 through 9 really quick. And you also hear the phone ringing. So when I pick up, when I pick up the phone, it'll detect that, and it's going to stop ringing, just like you would normally expect of a phone. And if we go back over here, it showed that it rung the phone a couple times, and that it stopped because I picked it up. So I hang it up again. It detects that. So that's where I'm at right now. I'm going to turn the lights back up again so we can see things a little better. Okay, so basically the only thing left to do is get this point where I can make some actual phone calls. And to do that, I have the Fona 800 Shield. This is basically a board that's going to allow me to connect from the Arduino to a cell network to make actual calls. So that's the next stage of the project. And that's pretty exciting, I'm looking forward to that. Anyways, that's where the project stands right now. 
Thanks for watching.